μαζί να αύριο η ώρα 2 το απόγευμα μέχρι τις 5.30. Και είναι έτσι από τα τεχνικά, από τα μικρά μυστικά θα λέγαμε, είναι να προσπαθούμε να αναδεικνύουμε, να επικεντρωνόμαστε εμείς, να τα προσέχουμε, να τα αναζητούμε, τα θετικά σημεία που έχει ο κάθε άνθρωπος. Γιατί ίσως κάποιος από όλους τους καλούς μας so, φίλους που μας ακούει να πει ότι δεν έχει θυμίσω τώρα, μα έχει κάνει την καρδιά μαύρη, είναι εκεί που έχει τρανσβάσει στο ραδιο στέσιο για λίγες μήνες. Welcome. Um, you don't need to see me, you only need to hear me. So that's why I sat down on this little table. We are in the Neme Art Center in Cyprus. And as you hear, radio uh, comes in a completely different shape for me. For you guys who are listening, this is something very normal what you're hearing in the back. For me, I'm took my transmitter and I was sitting on the bed and listening to the radio here, listening to the shortwave radio, the middle wave and also the FM frequencies. And discovering what is in the air in Cyprus. So we are in Lima Sol in the old center actually in a white cube, which is surrounded by some thoughts about transmission arts by two Swiss artists, Wagner and Wachter and Jude, which is very inspiring. So if you have time, just really have a look at it and think about what can transmission be, because this is also something I would love to talk in the next minutes about. Actually, I'm, I'm a radio maker. I'm a, from a community radio station in Germany, from Radio Corax, and I actually represent nothing more than uh, 350 people there. Radio Corax is a community-based radio station. And my little input, I called it, we are hijacking radio art. So for our community of radio makers, it was the aim to come together and to invite artists to our station, actually, because we wanted to have some creative input and to find new ways how to think about radio. So we created an event which took place the second time. The first Radio World Festival took place in 2006. In 2016, we created another one with the focus of radio art and uh, let's say international gathering of the crucial the most of the crucial radio artists that are in the world and that think about radio and transmission. And um, we are a community radio station, right? So we are not community art, what you have heard so much about now. And we are radio makers in first place. And what I would like to talk about now is a little bit about this encounter of two worlds, two scenes. Where do we come together and which questions do we have to each other? So we as radio makers, actually, we wanted to have new inspiration for our radio makers. We are like actively 180 people in Halle, which is a city of uh, almost 300,000 people in the east of Germany. And this was one crucial thing, but the, all the radio artists we invited, which were quite uh, around 100 people from all over the world, for them, and also for the five co-raters, the crucial point was that it was the first chance in many, many years that all, all the most um, complete overview of uh, radio art can, key, can be created in one space. So the idea was really to try to find various perspectives and definitions of radio art. What is it? What is radio art? So we started actually to create different spaces in the city. So we created one own frequency for one month, which only transmitted artistic radio broadcasts. We had another middle wave, and we had our own station, which was Radio Korak. So three frequencies, which the artists used and combined. Um, there was various installations and exhibitions in the city. Installations, you can just 
watch them there. This is also a good example for thinking about transmission and radio and uh, to have them exhibited. Uh, we also had a conference, we had workshops, and uh, the most important thing was we had performances. So we staged radio, more or less like what you see here, but of course from artists. This is a just one visual impression of um, an installation by Joyce Hinterding. It's called Aereology. We exhibited in an old castle in the cellars. And it's actually, it's copper wire around these old uh, um, uh, stones. Uh, it not only looks really fascinating, uh, the thing is, uh, it actually captures the waves and the transmissions that are in the air from Wi-Fi, from mobile phones, maybe also from the funk, from the, yeah. And uh, it makes them, he people here. So you come in and it's like a... Whatever it is in the air, this is transmitting it. It's a really long antenna of, I think, eight kilometers. Mm -hmm. Radio art. What, we're, what we've been talking about here is, is sort of a representation versus metamorphosis to some degree. Does the radio represent a, con a constituency? Does it represent a listenership? Does it represent an approach, a format? Or is it possible for a medium to be uh, a medium of metamorphosis, so a place where something is transformed, something mm -hmm. changes? Mm -hmm. And in that case, as a, as a radio artist, I firmly believe that the, uh, the story of radio is not closed. We don't know the limits of the medium at the moment. We can't really even speak of a monumental radio medium. It's difficult to do that because how do you account for a police scanner and a community radio station and uh, a radio telephone all in the same sentence? Um, those things somehow uh, share something, but they also fight one another very quickly. So to say that any one of those is a definitive of radio would be a mistake, but then to say that each of those kind of uh, influence our use of them in exactly the same way would also be a mistake. Um, and I also see that in, in a history of media, the, uh, the history of the listener, the user, the person who is not the immediate designer is still pushes back very much against what that medium could be or where the boundaries of that medium might be. So I'm very much interested in this idea of metamorphosis rather than the representational aspect of, of radio. So what is radio? I think we only have a just little tiny spot when we put on our receivers to what, can radio, what radio can be. Um, and so radio art has very different, so many shapes um, I will present you also one uh, example, but what it is, it's from the one hand side to really listen differently, try to really listen to the uh, little intimate voices, also to uh, um, give a free space from formats, just don't think anymore in anything you know, and uh, try to get rid of uh, that fixed formats. So think of spoken word, but also think of sound works, go to the city, uh, just really listen to what is ar around you. Um, Work-based arts, which is all this more traditional stuff. And of course, you have a lot of people who work with transmissions, so who think about which actual machines give away uh, frequencies and um, which interfer interferences can um, um, can can uh, can be can be made by machines, and how can we listen to them? And there is one good example from a performance we had on stage, and uh, they were actually uh, using microwaves, walkie-talkies, radio waves, and a lot of electronic instruments.
So this was a staged performance by Anna Friss, Jeff Koller, and Christian Roos. And uh, Anna Friss, who was talking a bit um, in a second before about their attempt actually really to think about the airwaves and the transmissions uh, that are possible. So you, this was actually only two minutes from a, I think, 50-minute performance um, in the Radio Walton Club in the stage. And um, coming from this, from just having a guess what radio artists are doing, I would look, like to look at what community radio actually is defining and how we are working. In the first place, what we try to do is to think radio differently and to think it as an emancipatory practice and uh, also emancipatory medium. And it sounds, for instance, like that in Halle at Korax. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. What do you got to say? Guten Tag und moin moin zu den Antifa News auf Radio Korax und anderen freien Radios. Heute geht es in den Norden nach Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. Ende August wurde dort ein rechtes Prepper-Netzwerk namens Nordkreuz enttarnt. In diesem sind Beamte der Polizei, Kommunalpolitiker und Reservisten aktiv. Sie sollen sich Waffen besorgt und Listen von vermeintlichen politischen Gegnern aus dem linken Spektrum angefertigt haben. Es laufen Ermittlungen wegen der Bildung einer rechtsterroristischen Vereinigung. Was Ende August noch medial viel präsent war, ist heute fast in Vergessenheit geraten. Aber nur fast. Wir blicken auf eine Kritik der Opferberatung Lobby zu den laufenden Ermittlungen. Außerdem blicken wir in den Antifa-News nach Leipzig zur Compact-Konferenz, die in eineinhalb Wochen nicht ungestört ablaufen soll. Doch jetzt schauen wir erst einmal nach Griechenland, wo 14 Geflüchtete 14 Tage lang für ein Recht auf Familiennachzug nach Deutschland gestreikt haben. Mit einer Protestform, die an die Existenz und das körperliche Wohl der Menschen selbst ging. I want to say we are for the person and we are here since 14 days. And I want to say today we will stop this hunger strike because we have some family with us and we have a kids with us. Auf einer Pressekonferenz verkündeten 14 so this was just this was just uh, a little bit out of the program, and you hear that it's completely different. So we are very straightforward talking about topics, trying to uh, yeah to uh, think critically and to also make people talk. The last thing you heard was just from a hunger strike in Greece from uh, uh, some uh, refugees, and it's uh, quite new. So it's just a few days ago that this happened. So community radio fast for Korax, I can say this at least is content. We want really to have a different kind of thinking about the world and uh, how topics are discussed, about discourses in society, and to make people speak, give them voices, make multilingual uh, radio. And uh, you just see here on uh, this little photography, which is from the Radio Korax website, um, that it's uh, very spread discourses, which also people can re-listen, but they, we bring them like daily programs every day, uh, live on air, uh, like six hours daily uh, actual program. So watching from there, we tried to find a way how to bring them together, our radio makers with the radio artists. And I think one good example was a workshop that was done by uh, Victor Masson Gardoki, um, which was called Transmission. And in this Transmission uh, workshop, uh, there were a lot of radio makers from Korax. They went there to this radio artist, which is a fantastic uh, thinker of how we can build up our own transmitters and how we can build up own communication ways that are uncontrolled self in our hands. And um, after thinking about this way, how to make your communication independent, uh, they also, after two days, made a little... Um, performance with their own transmitters. So the radio makers themselves got uh, 
uh, went to be artists in this moment, uh, they also performed in the same club the other artists did, and what they were doing actually, and that's where the title Hijacking Radio Art comes from, is they actually really invaded the space, and it was for us as uh, Korax radio makers such a very strong moment, because it was one time, which was a, just a tiny slot of time, where also these radio makers went to think artistically and to do an artistically performance all together. Let's think of 15 people with little transmitters. It sounded like that. That, that's what, what it was looking like. You just put a little USB on your computer and you were able to transmit what you wanted uh, via your computer. What they did actually were little mini transmitters, so they broadcasted on all radio waves, so no FM station anyway uh, uh, was broadcasting in this house where they made the performance. Um, all radio stations went silent and um, yeah, and this was a very beautiful moment which we still um, Yes, uh, remember very often when we think back on this year, which was a lot of work for us. So you have to see, uh, as a radio makers, we made the infrastructure for radio artists to come and uh, yeah, and to present the art. But the exchanging moments were just little ones. But as you see, we are f starting to reflect this what it meant to us. And I have uh, another person who uh, is also went went to be a colleague of us now. Um, who was talking about in the conference also about what is radio for him. It's a radio artist, Gregory Whitehead. Yeah, I would like to, th I want to think that radio remains a medium of individual rejection, right? Rejection, rebellion, just negation, not going there, not going to participate. Instead, here is this other weight of the way, right? The medium that can show another weight of the way. So, to think and to create also a kind of another space, a radio space, that is what we did together and uh, which I think we start now every day um, on Radio Korax. And one result also of this work with the artists was a manifesto uh, I brought some of these manifestos with me, and I would like to, uh, yeah, actually to take the chance and read some bits of it for you. Uh, this is the German version. You can find the English one on the website. I just fold this up. It's a big poster to put on the wall. And radio space is still the place. So, just hear some mix about all the voices from the radio artists. Towards a free radio, unmediated, immediate media. Some bloody wonderful musics, which no one else will air. Some radical thinking, which will inspire more. Weg mit dieser unerträglichen deutschen scheiß kack -Linearität. Freier Blick in die Buchstabensuppe. Weg, ich dehne mich eigenständig nach allen Seiten hin aus. Ein Ziel zu erreichen ist nicht mein Ziel. Aber für das, was mir vorschwebt, bin ich lediglich ein Zwischenwirt, ein Schlüsselkind, ein Viertelmensch. 
In a utopian idol, everybody knows how to build a radio set and how to use it to receive and transmit information. In a utopian idol, communication will be democratized and there will no longer be any need for centralized commercial media distribution networks. Create a free university of the air, making our contribution to a universal library, building an archive of audio documentation that charges charge current thinking and innovative practice in ear-based, non-narrative aesthetic forms. Let us imagine and then create a radio art that fearlessly descends into the darkness inside and out. Let us imagine and then create a radio art that seeks out dead nerves and fires them back into life. Radio is unbroken. Radio is unbroken. Radio is Unbroken Radio.